Hey everyone, Little Lensman Oz here, and this is episode 19. Not 9 or 8 or whatever I made the mistake of in the last one. Episode 19 of Revolution 2. Uh, today, I wanted to try and get this thing to work, and I was thinking of perhaps um, trying out something similar to what I have up here with the, um, the shaft junction. And I'm thinking if we can combine the power, and if you remember, you need to have the exact same power um, going in both sides. So if I if I want to combine power, I need to make sure that both machines going in are the same. So what I was considering doing is making a second um, gasoline engine, and then putting the combiner here somewhere. I love these turrets, they're great. Every now and then you'll be working, you just hear them start firing. I need to put one over in that corner because spiders come over that fence. <laughs> Take that skeleton. Uh, right, so let's get into <clears throat> making that other engine. So for that we're going... not a bucket. We need one of these. I think I was going to make that out of Electrum actually. I don't want to waste too much gold. I've got all this electrum I don't need at the moment. Uh, let's just check. Oh, <coughs> sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to need some bits and pieces. Alright. Oh, might need that. Let's see. Let's just <coughs> let's do this probably. Having a little bit of lag. Um, I'm not sure if it's my PC or if it's the, the game or what. I had my PC crash on me today in the middle of uh, trying to load up the game. Like, full crash, no longer working. Had to turn off the power switch and, and, and wait a few minutes, which was a bit of a downer. Uh, let's see, I need to make one of them. Uh, yeah, so not sure whether there's some sort of issue going on. I do want to get myself a new video card pretty soon. That would be quite helpful. Because uh, I think mine's just getting a little bit tired. Okay, so that's two of the... Uh, it's not shaft junction, is it? No, because that's... I oh know it is shaft junction. I think that's correct. Okay, so we just need some shaft units, another one of these gears, which that's easy enough. Um, probably going to need another one of them, maybe a few more of them. Uh, that should do it. Okay. So what I was thinking, and again, I'm not sure, because, because I rotate between the two, I'm not sure whether... We're going to work this out, but for the moment, I kind of want to. <laughs> I'm not sure whether, you know, whether I, maybe I'll just end up moving this. Actually, this thing doesn't really do what I want, so we'll just bring it out here for now. Um, pink in on the. Probably in on orange, out on pink. No. Uh, Out on. I'm pretty sure it's in on orange atom. Doesn't make any sense. That's it. Must have been yellow. Okay, so we're going to put the shaft junction here. I want to rotate it around so the two ends. Uh, what are we doing? Merging power. You can see in the tooltip in the bottom right corner there, it says merging power. So we want the two inputs here and then the output out that way. And I hope I don't break this. I really do. Uh, so let's get that. Okay, now I need to work out a way of making sure that they both get 
um, fuel at the same time. So that's going to be the hard part, I think. Let's see. I don't, I don't think I can, actually. I don't think there's a way of... can't just put hoppers on it. Uh, short of maybe using um, the conduits. Uh, perhaps if I use like conduit now, do we have so there's these speed upgrades which perhaps we might be able to use and that'll push it in a lot quicker than, than normal. We're going to need some electrical steel for that. I'm not sure if I've got any. So I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that in just a second. Let's put let's put this here. We want to make it so that they're um, they're insert, both of them. And then perhaps it's going to be a bit funny. Let's see if we can do this. Can I make that extract? I think I can. So if I make this always active extract, should be able to put uh, ethanol in the top. Oh, what's the worst that can happen? Blows up. Let's put this dirt. Dirt can go in there for now. I need to get some more dirt in there. Uh, what do we got? No, I'm just going to take a stack from here. Okay. Oh, really? Do we still not have enough? It should be merging power. Power is being received from. You should be getting 57 kilowatts at 8,000 rads. What mode are you in? It's in speed mode. It's talk mode. That's <laughs> still not enough. Oh, I guess I don't quite understand the uh, the nature of these gearboxes. It's not doing what I was hoping. That's a bummer. So that's a fail. You guys can probably tell me what I'm doing wrong here. It's it's almost there. It's so close. It's not funny. It's just just slightly out of whack on power, and I think that's due to damage in the gearbox, which. 1% damage, you know, that's a little bit ridiculous. And so these now have... Oh, hang on. Oh, that'll do it. It's only one engine run. What the goodness gracious happened there? No wonder it's... Uh... Oh, so what are we getting now? 120... Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Are we working? Awesome. Alright, so it'd be nice if, you know, it did a round robin. So perhaps that's something I need to look into. Um, I don't know if there's a conduit upgrade to make it do round robin. So I'm guessing this isn't the right, this isn't the right way of doing this. Because um, this now has like an, an hour's worth of of drive in it and this one has like three minutes so you know I'm, I'm not scared um it's just a little bit of ethanol but that should be now pushing through this hard ore and I might actually be able to do something with the uranium that I couldn't seem to do anything with uh, let's see I'll put it away somewhere because I just I got Jack of carrying it around because I couldn't do anything. Oh, and I found a um, it's pretty cool. I went I went out walking and I found this stuff and it's going off. But this is Denzel's marshmallow, and when you eat this, it gives you the so many buffs. It's not funny. So I went on this big trek and I went running, and I found a few trees uh, like Thorncraft trees, and they had um, like, there was a Thormium chest plate under one. We had all sorts of stuff. I went for a big, um, a big run out through here and uh, out 
to some of these buildings out here and finding bees. So I went and found a bunch more bees. But um, yeah, awesome the uh, the buffs you get from that stuff. I wish I wish the food didn't go off. I really do because they would come in really handy. Maybe I th no, I've got some hard copper here. Uh, did I put it inside? No. I don't know. It'll be somewhere. It'll turn up. So that should be working its way through. And the way this works is I'll need to switch it over to speed mode to run this middle bit. And generally you'll want to have something ready to process again because this thing pretty much processes the middle two together and the outside two together. So while it's doing its last step here, you really want to be processing something new over here. So once I find... oh there it is there, there's that uranium. Once I get that going, uh, we'll be able to... Perhaps I can use this hopper. I don't know if I can insert from the right here, but we'll just throw these items in here. So hopefully once this works its way through, which takes a while, uh, it doesn't have a time on it, it doesn't say how long it takes. Um, that's still pretty cool. So we've got two engines pushing into here. It should be merging the power that's coming through. So it's getting two engines worth. It's coming through here, it's getting, what have we got? Outputting 129 kilowatts at 32 rads. So this is receiving 129 at 32 rads. So that's fairly decent power. You know, we've got everything we need in power, but it's just the speed part that we, we fall down on. So, I mean, I could possibly do some sort of um, setup with one of those timers where it runs for like two minutes and then turns on redstone and then... Um, runs for another two minutes like that and then switches back over so it switches between the two power settings because obviously to get this up to speed I'll I'll get a screwdriver and I'll shift right click the gearbox and I'll go to speed mode and we'll see that see that in a few minutes here I'll let that run through uh, with the bees I went and found meadows and I've since put a light upgrade on here because I can't sleep through the night. Um, it, it's, you know, obviously it, not being able to sleep through the night reduces the amount of time that these bees can run. So I've made the light upgrade, which is just four glowstone, four glass and the, the upgrade frame, which if you remember is just a bit of tin and gold nuggets and stuff. What's that? The cow. What are you doing, cow? Are you stuck? Really? I don't know. <laughs> Some of the weird and wonderful stuff that goes on is, is, is strange. Just quite odd. Oh, how are you going for... Yeah, it's still got plenty, plenty of ammo. So yeah, I, I put it, put some dirt around here because I wasn't sure whether we um, needed to have the flowers or not, but just in case. Uh, so now, yeah, Meadows Queen, uh, so Meadows Princess and Drone, Meadows Queen, and that's just running through normally. I haven't got any other upgrades in here yet, and um, it just makes honeycomb. So I've made a squeezer. Not sure why, I think I got a little confused. I made the squeezer first and then I went, oh no, centrifuge is what I need. We now have centrifuge as well. And it's just pulling power from the RF system. Which hopefully will, um, is still going well. Yep, 700,000. Maybe I should work this sort of setup up there into one of those engines. I'm not sure what sort of speed it can handle. We got <clears throat> almost through the lead. I mean, obviously, I don't need lead. Iron's the one I, I need to find some and run it through so I can get that possible um, titanium or whichever one it was. 
Uh, I also tried making an industrial coil. Now what the industrial coil does, um, here's a recipe for it. It's a little bit full on. You're going to make a brake disc, which is this, and shaft bearing, and and then this tension coil. And <clears throat> and what it does, basically, it's it, it's like a wind-up spring. Think of the, your old... Uh, your old pullback cars or your little wind you know, you had a, a, a little plane with a rubber band thing. This kind of works the same where you, you're winding up a lot of power and then you can release it uh, at particular um, specification, but these little gasoline engines just couldn't wind it up because the tighter you need to wind it, the more torque you need and these things just didn't have it. So that didn't work either. Take that zombie. Um, so yeah, I, then I got to the point where it's time to try and get this sort of thing working. Okay, so that's come out of there and it's making copper now. So let's switch the, the gearbox over, over to speed mode. So what that should do is that should enable this to run, this centerpiece. So you can see that it's running through. And we got two bits of slurry from one dust. And then those, that's big, okay, it's not always two. Looks like we're getting one or two here and there. And then we're getting this lead solution at the end. So it's using water in the middle, which is why we've got the drum of water here. Which you probably find as, as if you can see the tool tip, it's just gone down a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see there. Um, so each each action in the middle, it's, it's using a little bit of water. So that's pushing it through to this, this solution. So you go hard ore or... If you're using it on a pack without the harder ores, it's still the same thing. You put your ore here, and then it's it's almost generally averages out at five times ore processing from this one machine. Um, so you got lead dust through to lead slurry, through to lead solution, and then it cooks up into flakes, I think it is, and then you've got to cook them again to get your your ingots. But you can see here that's that's progressing through quite nicely. So yeah, walking around, found a bunch of um, bees. So we've got some winteries. Those winteries were just up on the hill up there. I don't know if you'd seen in previous videos where there was a light shining on the on the hill. That's these ones. Um, we've got some marshy. We've got valiant. The pure ones, I'm not sure where they're from. I think they might be a, a raker one. They seem to give you gas tears, but I haven't been able to get actually one out of it. Um... Marshy Steadfast. So the other thing I made was I made a Beeliser and that's just in the carpenter with this pattern. A couple of tin, a couple of glass panes, a couple of redstone and a diamond. They haven't changed the recipe I don't believe. I'm pretty sure that's standard. Two buckets of water and then power. And yeah, so that gives us the Beeliser. The Beeliser runs on honey. Come on, bring it on. Shoot him. <laughs> Mob dismemberment's good fun too. It's not a bad hit though. I'm taking six damage from a from a seed. Seed to the head. I wonder what the ball bearings do. <laughs> I, I I don't know if it's dependent on what you're actually firing out of it or not. So I've got a few combs here which just need to be run through here, I guess. But you take the honey drops. Anyone who's used forestry before will know this. And you, this little Beeliser thing's powered by that. So we'll get a. Let's get the marshy princess here. You put the princess in, and it tells you all about it. So its lifespan, what sort of uh, environment it needs, what it produces mutations and then yeah this is obviously a, an original forestry one because you've got the authority of Sengir and if you look at the oops, still in there if you look at the pure one it actually says um, Raker is the authority that's cool um, <clears throat> got some bits and pieces here that we can try and breed up once we get the new we'll get some more gender stream machines going so let's dump this stuff off. And we probably need to check that machine. Yep, it's 
getting through. The copper's now slurry. May as well continue through until it gets all the way to the end here. Get all the lead done. So we've done all right. I, I can't remember the actual original number of lead that we put in. But this was only like five copper, so be interesting to see how many we get. I'm pretty sure the lead wasn't all that many. I think it would have only maybe been ten or eleven. Um, it's interesting that we're getting we're up to forty. Nice little uh, expansion. Okay, so let's just go to industry. I guess the first thing we probably need here will be I guess we're going to need to make some of the, the mutagen, we're going to need to make sampler, the advanced mutatron, so you need to make a mutatron first, so we're going to need to make a bunch of stuff here. Some tin and glass panes couple of these B receptacles, so that's a couple of weighted pressure plates. So I've got a lot of the materials I require floating around in here. I did have some glass panes somewhere. You done? Yes you're done. So let's let's switch this back. That'll go back and it whoops. What should happen now is it should now turn these things in the end into flakes. At the same time it's doing, as I said before, it's doing the uh, the first stage again. So you're getting two parts. So you can effectively have a you know, a, a process going where it's switching between. Uh, I don't think I need an electrum door. No, it's just bronze. It's bronze. Oh, I'm going to need a lot of stuff. A lot of bronze. Some bronze gears here. Oh, look, yep. Just got an achievement. There you go. So we got some nickel and some lead from that first one. And this is working through copper. So I could probably. Uh, let's see. We need to get another chest. Uh. Go some wood. Make a chest. Put these conduits. Chest down. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Insert. Oops. Extract. And pull the flakes out. Excellent. So hopefully when that copper's done it'll switch over and do the uranium. So my next mining run I'll go over run it through that compactor thing and then come over here and run it through here and obviously we've still got 48 minutes worth of fuel. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut and I'll get the things we need for a mutatron and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the Mutatron. Um, I can see I'm going to need a lot more bronze. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm going to need a lot more bronze than what I currently have. For some reason... not sure why that's sorted like that. Um, I don't have an absolute ton. I've been trying to... trying to make it and I guess... <clears throat> some copper and tin floating around. I'll make a bunch more. Could do some mining. Uh, so here's a mutatron. And the way the mutatron works, I'm gonna put it put it here. Let's grab uh, LV LV probably need to get better but it'll do for now. And I will eventually make the advanced mutatron which is that one will require another two of these genetics processor things so that's going to take a little while I'll get that going but um, for the moment um, you know it'll take a while some more bronze gears and then another power module 
But this is a way. I'm going to need some of those labware. So I need a diamond. Let's quickly grab a couple of them. Should still have a few. A few of them. Really need to make some sand. I'm just going to throw a stack of cobble into the sag mill. Get some sand. Let's make some glass. So let's make some labware. Don't have enough for too much at the moment. Some labware. I'm guessing I'm going to need to make mutagen producer. It's going to take heaps more bronze. Because I'm going to need mutagen to be able to mutate bees. The idea being you'll be able to take two bees, different types, into that machine and it will mutate them. The advanced mutatron um, re allows you to choose the mutation. So I'm going to need... Yeah, I'll need to make one of these. It's probably something I can use the um, um, uranium for. Uranium. That's what I'm after. So we can use the uranium as a muted mutation. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. It requires something to mutate them. So we need to make some of this. So I might have to do that between episodes. I think we're getting pretty close to the wrapping up point. So what I'll do, I'll go and do a bunch more mining. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, do a bunch of mining in between episodes. We'll get a heap more bronze, because I'm going to need a heap more bronze. And when we come back for the next episode, hopefully we um, can get a few more of these gender stream machines done. That holds a million RF. My goodness. This thing will be cranking. Yep. Not keeping up real well. So, time for another one I think. Time for another machine. And then to try and work out how I can replicate this. Yeah. Not sure. Really not sure. Not real good on vanilla bit redstone, so may need to um work out some other way of doing it. Alright, well thank you as always for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode and please leave your comments in the section below as always to let me know what you thought and if you liked the uh, episode hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button you can catch up on all the episodes I do. I'm pretty much terribly, I, didn't, I, I wasn't going to do it from the start, I'm pretty much doing daily videos now. I think I am... Yeah, I think I'm on daily videos now. Uh, I don't know how long that's going to stay, stay going, but by all means. At this point, it's daily. So, again, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.